Hey guys, Gwinnett here, bringing you round three of MPDC 2307. Uh, this is game two. Um, my opponent, Fabio S., is playing Demir Mill, and I won game one. Um, let's get started. So my opponent does choose to play first. Uh, here's my opener. Again, have two lands, easy keep versus a mill deck. And we are off, drawn to a turn three Nivik Cyclops, assuming that I can draw a land. Um, my opponent has a Duress. He goes ahead and takes the spell. Duress is definitely one of the best cards that a uh, black deck can play against this particular deck. Um, don't have any way of rec any graveyard recursion that I'm running in the side in the main or the sideboard, which is something I definitely am thinking I'll be changing. I draw into a shock and just go ahead and use it to shock my opponent here. And just going to play out the Is It Guild Gate. Um, if my opponent casts something here, I've got the ability to essence scatter. Um, instead, I'm just going to go ahead and lightning strike here, which my opponent lets resolve. I'm going to go ahead and hold on to this Nivik Cyclops for the moment, and my opponent has another Duress, and he's able to take the Cancel out of my hand. In a turn, Annihilating Fire, bring my opponent down to 12. And not drawing lands here is definitely not great for me. Um, I've, the, with the counters and stuff that I have in hand, I definitely would like to be able to, to fight against him if at all I can. So into my turn, can go ahead and Inspiration, see if my opponent wants to do anything about that. He has a Negate, but at least now I have the ability to fight through some of his counter magic. Probably should have played the Cyclops there, just because um, getting another counter out of his hand would have been good. Um, he has Pilfered Plans, um, but then has to discard a Farika's Cure. Now I'm going to go ahead and cast the Cyclops, and at least now I'm able to go ahead and run out the Frostburn Weird, which can hit for a lot of damage, but he probably has a removal spell in hand. Nope, just an Arcam answer, getting back for Rika's Cure. Alright. So here I'm going to go ahead and cast the Cyclops, swing in with the Frostburn Weird. Um, obviously going to go ahead and uh, kill it here. It's a nice two for one. Yeah, he gains two life with the Farika's Cure, but I'm perfectly happy, particularly with the Cyclops, to go ahead and get all that off the board. Unfortunately, he has another Arcam answer, um, which I will go ahead and Essence Scatter here, um, but he has a Negate to counteract my Essence my essence scatter. So back on my turn, don't really have anything I can do yet with a Cyclops, so I will just hold on to this essence scatter and see what else I can do here. My opponent has a Thassa's Bounty, which is fine, not too concerned about that. do have an Annihilating Fire here, which I will go ahead and hit my opponent with. Um, my opponent does have a Dispel, but it does go ahead and turn on my Nimic Cyclops, which I really like. Again, that's one of the reasons why I like this particular card against Demir Mill, because he can counter one, he can counter the other, but it's really hard for him to have to deal with both parts of the threat. So he just chumps another Pilfered Plans, and then I can now start pinging him down. Draw Voyages in, which isn't a great draw for me here, um, but might be willing to save my Nimic Cyclops should the opportunity arise. just continue to ping him here. I'm going to wait on this Minotaur Skull Cleaver, see if I can't draw into something else rather than just letting him kill me with it. Draw a second one, which is definitely not great considering how much more land he has than I do. Um, but he's also not doing a whole lot here, so I'm happy just to can kind of to ping him down. Um, if he gets greedy, I may be able to get away with something here. I will go ahead and use Lightning Strike here against him. Um, see if he wants to counter it. Um, he does go ahead and use Psychic Strike, and I just let that resolve because it's already turned on my Nivik Cyclops, which he'll now have to deal with. So hit him down to three here, and just pass the turn back. Hit him with the Razor Tip Whip, and draw Shock as well. And see if he, he does not have a counter for it, and that's how that ended. So I uh, went 2-0 and versus Demir Mill in this particular... Uh, particular event, which feels pretty good, considering that I built this deck particularly to beat uh, Demir Mill. So, hope you enjoyed the game. Thanks for watching. In closing, let me remind you, you can keep up with all my writings and articles by following me on Twitter at the username Gwynedd42. That's G-W-Y-N-E-D and the number 42. I also regularly publish articles over at PureMTGO.com. Search for me by the username Gwynedd on that site or find the link in the description of this video. I also maintain a blog now at writeradept.blogspot.com and you can also find that in the description. Finally, if you enjoyed these videos, please remember to subscribe to my channel and post any feedback or comments. Thanks for watching.